Summer. The weather outside is beautiful. Many went on vacation, most likely to the sea, to charge some sunlight, breathe in the sea air and experience an unforgettable time. This year we decided not to go to the sea, as we just recently adopted Runa from the shelter. And this is our first summer together. We plan to go to the mountains, to the lakes or leave the dogs with our grown children to see the beautiful cities from time to time. Hi, this is Ki and I'm Gira. Today we are going to Zurich. Zurich is a city in the north of Switzerland, the capital of the German-speaking canton of Zurich, and the administrative center of the district of the same name. Zurich is the largest city in the country. It's located on the shore of Lake Zurich. It's included in the category of global cities and is both the largest financial and scientific center of Switzerland. In 2019, Zurich ranked second in the world in terms of quality of life and fourth in the list of the most expensive cities in the world. We usually come to this ancient Swiss city on walking days and always leave the car in the Urania car park. This time we arrived very early on Sunday. We were immediately positively surprised. Firstly, there are a lot of free parking places along the street, but keep in mind, we arrived in Zurich so early. Secondly, when we went to the parking machine to pay, it turned out that our spot was completely free of charge. I never thought that you could save money in Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> we parked on Hirschengraben Street, right in the front of the Supreme Court of the Canton of Zurich. It's very convenient and the center is two steps away. We got out of the car and saw a large monument. Approaching it, we turned right along the street Unter Zäune. On the left, you will see a small fountain. Further to the left of the alley and exit to the street Münstergasse. Here we are greeted by typical houses, shops and small cafes. The Limat River can be heard in the distance and is already visible between the houses.
Going out to the Zwinglyplatz Square, we found ourselves right in front of a huge temple of the 12th century. The Grossmünster was a monastic church that rivaled the Frauenmünster in the Middle Ages. Frauenmünster is located on the other side of the Limat River. After standing on the observation deck and admiring the beauty around us, we headed to the Münsterbrücke bridge. приезжали по работе года два назад, наверное, да? Угу. Здесь было очень много народу. Здесь даже снять ничего нельзя было. Что свободного места не было. Можно было на одной ноге прыгать. The bridge spans the Limat River and connect the churches of the same name, Frauenmünster and Grossmünster. Near the last temple, we just admired the other side of Zurich. The bridge is built of natural stone and preserved in its natural form. Frauenmünster is one of the churches of the old town. The former convent Frauenmünster church was built in the middle of the 9th century. Since then, the building has been completed and rebuilt many times. What we see today dates back to 1250. In the Middle Ages, the abbess of Frauenmünster actually ruled the city and the monastery itself even minted its own coin. We pass by the Frauenmünster church and find ourselves on a Münsterhof square, surrounded by a ring of low, mismatched houses with colored shutters. It's the largest city square in Altstadt, Old Town. Look at the 
катаемся да, на велосипеде. Туда надо, и туда надо, и еще куда нам надо. Там озеро. Можно к озеру пойти? Ну, пойдем к озеру сначала, а потом... Walking through the streets of the old town, we are headed to the Zurich Lake. 